What's up guys, back with another educational post and this week we're talking about stretching. Now I posted about this a while back on my Instagram and you know, I know we've got low carb zealots, plant-based zealots, fasting zealots. I did not realize we had stretching zealots as well and I managed to tick them off with this post. So what was the post about? Well, it was about should you stretch on your off days from lifting? And when I say stretch, I mean static stretching. There was a paper by Barbosa et al where they looked at if we have people stretch or not stretch on their off days from training, how does that affect their performance? They had three different groups. They had a control group that did nothing on their off days. They had a static stretching group that would stretch for three sets of 30 seconds for their hamstrings. And then they had another group that would do dynamic stretching, which was 30 reps for a dynamic stretch. So they looked at how it affected various performance measurements, including things like their triple hop and their jump and a 20 meter sprint. And what they found was that the group that did static stretching after 10 sessions actually had a small but significant decrease in performance in all the measures except for their 20 meter sprint, which 20 meters may just not be long enough to see the differences between the groups, or maybe it just doesn't matter for sprinting, who knows. Now the dynamic stretching group did not see that drop off in performance. They were just as good as the control group. Now what does this mean practically for you guys? Well. It's just one study, so let's not get too crazy about it. But it used to be hypothesized that you definitely don't want a static stretch before your training because there's quite a bit of data to show that if you static stretch for long periods of time before you do resistance training or some sort of exercise that requires like power and force production, that it can attenuate those. But some people said, well, you know, stretching helps with active recovery and you should do that in your off days. It still looks like there might be a carryover even if you stretch on your You got a bass and cameo from my daughter. It does appear like there is some carryover from stretching on your off days from training, at least from static stretching. What are some potential limitations of the study? Well, many athletes have heard about the fact that if you static stretch before a training session, it can decrease your performance. It is possible that these subjects in the static stretching group had an expectation that their performance would be lower and that may have affected their performance because you can't really blind somebody to dynamic versus static stretching. They're going to know what they're doing. So it is possible that that expectation played into it. So we do need more studies in order to know, okay, is this a real effect or is it possibly a placebo effect? However, I would say you're not really missing out on anything by not doing static stretching. You can do dynamic stretching instead if you need to get a stretch in for active recovery, better flexibility, those sorts of things. I would say skip the static stretching or keep it to a minimum and focus on dynamic stretching. It's also important to note, it may be muscle specific. This study only looked at the hamstrings. So we don't really know what that means for say the quads, the biceps, you know, other muscles, who knows? It could be that the hamstrings are actually very sensitive to static stretching and load, those sorts of things. So we just need more studies before we can find out more. If you're worried about maximal performance on a specific day, perhaps in the lead up to the performance of that event, try to limit your static stretching. All right, guys, if you like this video, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and if you get a chance, click some of the links in the description and you can buy some of our high quality educational products as well as our nutrition coaching app. All right, guys, I'll catch you next week.